All right, gonna do some more running uh, mycelium to cardboard. Uh, I'm kind of running low on mycelium to to grow out, so and I've had a lot of failures as you've seen. So I've just got a really small um, bit of uh, oyster mushroom. I guess I can take it out of the bag. I'm I'm doing this in the clean room, and I'm I'm not using totally sterile procedure, but I'm using mostly sterile procedure. Uh, I'm trying to kind of optimize my my outcome here. Um, all of these containers sat in a big container. All of these containers that I'll be putting stuff into, I've already cleaned with bleach water, soaked them in bleach water overnight, and then let them dry in a still air environment. And I've already uh, pre-soaked a bunch of strips of cardboard. Looks like they're not completely drained. There's still a little water draining out, but um, and brought them into the clean room in a relatively sterile container, so they went from the hot water into this. So exposure to contaminants uh, on this is going to be really minimal. And usually I would I would separate um, the cardboard, but this stuff is because I used really hot water is uh, just falling apart so I'm not going to make a lot of effort to uh, separate it like I normally would there we go. and as I do more of this I'm realizing that uh, it's it's not about the amount of water you have you don't need a lot of water in the cardboard you just need it to, uh, you need a, a moist environment and to protect that environment from uh, from drying out but but uh, too much water is is really as much or more of a problem than than anything else as far as keeping the uh, mushrooms from growing well. So I didn't put a whole lot in each one. I'm going to do a whole bunch of these and, and I'm going to oops, let's go keep that level. I'm also going to uh, come on, there we go. Also got some pieces of egg carton which I kind of like um, now that I've used it a little bit. I mean, it's very easy to uh, it's very easy to use and produces good results. Oops. That way. Okay. So, and I'm going to leave these uh, containers here in the clean room um, while it myceliates. This container in particular breathes a lot more than is probably ideal for mycelium running. So I'm going to put a lot of cardboard in here. Let's do this. Take these right out of there. So I have some uh, king oyster mushroom mycelium growing on dowels, which I did quite a while ago. Actually, I did this in December of last year. So 
I don't know if these are still viable. I've had them in my cabinet for all this time. And I think I'm going to try and grow some king oyster mushrooms from the dowels, or mycelium from the dowels. We'll see how that works out. And this um, was this was all done in a sterile environment. These dowels were created in a sterile environment. So hopefully, if they haven't dried out to the point of not being viable, they will spring right to life here. And I will have just an abundance of um, Uh, the, the king oyster mushroom mycelium did not really cover the dowels very well. I mean, it, it ran through it okay, but not to the point to where I think these dowels would work if I drilled the holes and logs and mounted in logs. So I'm going to see if I can get it to grow on cardboard. Um, much all of this. Oh, it's fine. And of course I'll I'll keep you updated. And I'm gonna start like I say I'm gonna leave this in the clean room, these uh, containers of mycelium running in the clean room and so I'll be doing any updates in the clean room as well. So hopefully we can not experience contamination when I'm checking on it, which has been a big problem for me in the past. Okay. I'm going to have to cut up some more cardboard, I think, because this is not very much. Incidentally, I used nearly boiling water on this cardboard, and it is just falling apart. So I'm thinking that pasteurizing, as opposed to um, using running hot, hot tap water, as opposed to sterilizing the cardboard, is probably a better approach. As you can see, I'm, I'm not taking the time to really cut these mushrooms up. I'm just tearing off pieces. I did another experiment, which I, I kind of wish I had recorded, where I, I did that big bucket of cardboard um, with the king oyster mu or Yeah, I put the king oyster mushroom strips in it, and the cardboard and, and paper, you know, the, all the recycling stuff. And it didn't take because it, it was too wet. So I've been kind of slowly letting it air out in a relatively safe environment and I just recently threw pretty much a whole oyster mushroom or a section. I mean it was just, it was bigger than this but not a whole lot bigger and I just threw the whole thing in there uh, to see what would happen and in a few days it had, um, it was all turning to mycelium and, and starting to run through that. And I'll do some video of that in the future to show you the end result. I think I'm going to get mushrooms out of that uh, batch, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, so there I've just uh, started a whole bunch and, oh, well, I'm going to have to, I guess maybe I can do this in this one. I wanted to, I always like to try new different, different uh, media. So I took a bunch of toilet paper tubes and just dipped them momentarily in the boiling hot water. Um, not enough that they would fall apart, but enough that they would get, you know, kind of saturated. And I just wanted to see <clears throat> if maybe uh, my ceiling would do well in this environment. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Let's go. I probably should have gotten those a little bit wetter, but <clears throat> again, too much water is as much of a problem as not enough. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, okay, well, I'm out of material to put in, so I'm going to pause it there.